I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a very important test question on rational functions. The question here is, find a formula for a function f that satisfies the following conditions. Limit when x approaches plus and minus infinity for the function is 0. Limit when x approaches 0 for the function f of x is minus infinity. The value of the function at 5 is equals to 0. Limit when x approaches 8 from the left side for the function is infinity. And limit for the function as x approaches 8 from the right side is minus infinity. So that's the question for you. You can pause the video, answer the question, and look into my suggestions. Now before giving you the formula, I would like you like to sketch the scenario here and then we'll discuss, right? So let us say this is our xy coordinate plane. What we are seeing here is that the first condition here is x approaches plus or minus infinity, f of x is equal to zero. That really means that there's a horizontal asymptote, both sides, right? So it is, it could be kind of approaching like this. Do you see that? It, it could approach from above the x-axis or below the x-axis, right? So this is the result for the first condition, which is limit x approaches plus minus infinity, f of x is equals to zero. It basically means that we have a horizontal asymptote y equals to zero, right? That is what it means. And it also means one more thing. For a rational function which we are going to work on, horizontal asymptote means that the degree of numerator is less than the degree of denominator. So second thing it means is degree of numerator is less than degree of denominator, right? So that is very important conclusion, which we straight away get from the very first condition. Now let's analyze the second one. The second one here is that limit when x approaches 0 for the function f of x is when it is approaching 0 is minus infinity. Now we are not seeing from which side, from either side that means, right? So both sides is minus infinity. So we expect this kind of like this and clearly it indicates that, that we have a vertical asymptote here, right? So this becomes the vertical asymptote for our function. Is it okay? So that really means we have vertical asymptote at x equals to 0. Is that okay? So we have horizontal asymptote at y equals to 0 and vertical asymptote at x equals to 0. Perfect. Now third condition is f of 5 equals to 0. So that means we have a point f of 5, let's say this is 5 for us, okay, let's say this is 5 for us, it is 0, that means that point is on the x-axis, this is the x-intercept, which is 5, 0, is it okay? Now, another condition given to us is, limit x approaches 8 from the left side for the function f of x is positive infinity. Now, that means, let us say this is 8 for us. Let's say this is 8 for us. I'm straight away making a vertical asymptote here. Since the next condition is from the positive side, it is negative infinity. So it indicates that what we have here is kind of, from the negative side is positive infinity. So it is kind of going like this. And next condition is from positive side, it is negative infinity, which is like this, right? So let me write it down now. I think the point is clear. Limit x approaches 8 from the right side for the function f of x is negative infinity, right? So these are the conditions which are given to us. So what we mean here is that we have a vertical asymptote at x equals to 8, right? So we have a vertical asymptote at, I mean, 
let me write 8 here, right? So we have this vertical asymptote at x equals to 8, and here we have vertical asymptote at x equals to 0. Now, based on the information which is given to us, we could actually sketch the graph, which will kind of look like this. Does it make sense to you, right? And on this side, so that is 5, the x-intercept. On this side, it is kind of like this. On this side, it is kind of like this. Right. So that becomes the graph for a function f of x. Right? Now, we have the graph. Now, this was only to explain you how should we gather the information from the given data, right, given information. So this is how we'll treat the limits as. Now, in one shot, I can give you the equation also. So we'll write the function f of x as what? 1. We have a vertical asymptote at x equals to 8. So we have a factor here, which is x minus 8. x minus 8 will give me the vertical asymptote at 8. So we have satisfied these two conditions. Is it okay? We are going backwards now. Now, if you're coming to this point, we have x intercept at 5. So that means x minus 5 is a factor in numerator that will make this function a 0. Do you get an idea? Right? x minus 5. Now, how do we take care of this one? If I write x here in the denominator, in that case, we'll get vertical asymptote, but that will face different side. Do you see that? Since both are going downwards, this factor has to be square. Another reason for this to be square is that the fact we have a horizontal asymptote. So let me highlight this one. So when we have a horizontal asymptote at y equals to 0, degree of numerator is less than the degree of denominator, right? So at present, we do have same degrees. But if I make it x or x squared, both, we satisfy these conditions, correct? But since both are going downwards, right, that is to say, the condition here is this one, which says limit when x approaches 0 for the function is minus infinity. Both are going down. That is only possible if we have x squared, but it's going to minus infinity, not plus infinity. Therefore, this should be negative also. So negative of this will, for a large value of x, give us a negative infinity result. So that is the function which satisfies all the given conditions, right? So our answer is function f of x is equals to minus x minus 5 divided by x squared times x minus 8. Do you see that? So that is how you could answer this question. I hope the steps which I have taken, the small steps, explaining you individual items, that's the thinking process. And also representing the information on the graph really helps to understand all the concepts which you learn in this chapter. If you like it, you can put like, share and subscribe my videos and post comments. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate. Thank you and all the best.